Hello everyone, welcome back to my stock career in Kerbal Space Program 1.11. In this video, we continue with debris retrieval. I promise that we will do something else in the next video, uh, but we will try and get what we can. We don't have a whole lot of fuel with this. We have 161 meters per second, and I think that we should reserve at least 60, uh, especially since I think we're gonna get into a fairly low orbit that can come back down easily. Uh, so let's say we have 100 meters per second to use to rendezvous with things. On the bright side, uh, given our current location here, uh, oh, there's a moon three. Well, that's not on my list, so it's in the high orbit. Um, on the bright side, we have these three pods behind us that are all right there, and they're all in lower orbits, which is convenient. So they'll catch up with us over time. Now, the thing is, the ones in the lower orbit, I got catch up faster. So we would actually like to go in order with the one that's closest to us, you know, in a higher orbit first, but that's not going to happen. But I think we can just time warp and let that let those catch up and then try and grab them all in a bunch. We'll see. Let's see. They're spreading out now, though. So it looks like Daftry's derelict is first. Yeah, that's what I've got as a target because that was the lowest one. Okay, and burning retrograde? Oh, shoot, that's bringing our periapsis down. I don't... what? I thought this was our periapsis side. Oh, no. We are... No, we're not controlling from the right point. Ah! Mmm, that's why. Gosh darn it. I should have left my craft controlling from the right point before... <laughs> The end of the episode last time. Well, we wasted some fuel, unfortunately. Okay, well... We were in a very low orbit. We'll... Send out a probe to try and grab that thing. Daftry's Derelict, that's the one. It looks like a radial burn right now would be advisable. The, that periapsis is getting too low. We're so close to the atmosphere, it's very hard to do the maneuvers without actually skimming the atmosphere, so... It's a bit of a pain. And of course, actually skimming the atmosphere makes things a little bit less predictable. So we're here. Daphne's derelict is ahead of us, actually, and Megan's pod is behind us. If I was adventurous, we would send yet another one of these little things to grab Megan's pod as well. But we'll hold off. Okay, well this has an encounter. And it's a nice encounter, too. Uh, after an orbit. Let me actually do... Jump back to... Daffle's Wreckage. And send one out for Megan's pod. I guess we'll do that, since this has a good encounter. Uh, I should have topped up the fuel on this. Unfortunately, both encounters are going to happen basically at the same time. Uh, okay, so we will do that node immediately, immediately. Okay, so we have an encounter there with Megan's pod. 28 minutes, and Daffle's Wreckage Probe. Let's see what the time is. 27 minutes. Okay, this one's first. Oh no, we lost comms. Oh shoot. Well, this will be a calm dead zone for the other probe as well then. Well, we'll just wait. That's probably the other probe and what it's rendezvousing with, Megan's pod. I should have slowed down all the way. Okay, we've got comms back. Let's try and salvage this situation. Okay, two minutes, and then let's go to the other one. Oh, really? Oh, 8.5 kilometers still? Well, this we'll pay attention to later. Yes. 
Okay, so Megan's probably after the... I'm getting Daffle's Wreckage and the actual target, which is Daftry's Derelict confused. Oh, I didn't want Daffle's Wreckage. I wanted Daffle's Wreckage Probe. Okay, here we go again. Can't quite see its orientation. I think it's nose on with us. Uh, well, it's 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 a sphere anyway. I mean, maybe I should grab it from the bottom, but I don't really care. It's a sphere. <laughs> Hopefully, there's not too much difference. It's a little bit of a difference in the collider, but okay. This will be fine. Okay, but we'll worry about the rendezvous after we grab Megan's pod. Well, we can set it up, I suppose. We're not too far away. It's gonna be tough trying to get underneath the other mission. Okay, well, that'll do it for now. And let's switch back to the Megan's pod deal. Okay, weak signal, but a signal. Okay, well, that's another sphere for us. Okay. I still want to control from the claw, thank you. And we will try and once again meet up with Daftree's derelict, which is ahead of us. So we want to catch up with it, which means we have to go into a lower orbit, which is really difficult. <laughs> Okay, I'll need to see the tracking station to figure out. Well, no, there's the maneuver for... Uh, why are we seeing the maneuver for the Daffle's Wreckage? Oh, wait, did I miss... Oh, I mixed them up again. Daffle's Wreckage is the target that we want. Yeah. Okay, and so over there we'll have to bring our orbit down to basically 70 by 70. And... Right, so Daftry's Derelict is the one we want to switch to because it has its maneuver next. Okay, we'll leave it like that. There's a two kilometer intercept there. We'll probably go with that. Let me make a node. So, well, no, we'll, we'll automatically jump to it. Let's go to Megan's Pod and do its maneuver, but we'll know that that's the next thing we need to do after Megan's Pod does its maneuver. And let's make sure we're controlling from the claw. The other one changed the control direction when I clawed the pod, but this one didn't. It's confusing sometimes. Paul Drill of Debris is the big stage. We have one little probe that was supposed to grab it, but lost power, so... As you can see, if, if we had only put it on hibernate in warp, it would have been fine, but... Okay, coming alongside here, we need to get to the right docking port, of course. Well... I guess it's close enough. And lots of magnetism. Alright, okay. So that's good. Next, Megan's pod. Okay, well, uh, it looks like we should lift our orbit for the next one. Okay, well, 2.1 is going to have to be it. Okay, let's go over there. Now, this somehow took quite a lot more. Okay, well. I'm probably going to have the other side help out here. But I feel like we can only use RCS here right now. We have a fair amount of that. We might even have enough RCS fuel to deorbit and everything. They are going to skim the atmosphere a little bit. Just a little bit. No, we have the Science Junior. We're in the atmosphere. 
We haven't really recovered a material study from the upper atmosphere before, so let's just keep that 13.5. It's possible we haven't done it in uh, low carbon orbit either, I'm not sure. Okay, well, I feel like that's all we should have to do with this to help out. Uh, we can control from here and then face the target. Seems like an awful lot of drift. In the prograde vector. But whatever, we've got it. Okay, well, we've got three more tugs. I think we should at least get that tug <laughs> that uh, we sort of sent out. Retriever 2 relay. That one. Now that's in a pretty high orbit. Well, I mean, not that high. But we'll we'll just wait until we phase closer to it because we're in lower orbit. And then, oh, though we're in too lower in orbit right now. And then we'll send a probe out to grab it. It's not nice to have created more debris. Okay, I've arranged for a meeting spot over there. We've got our periapsis, oh, our apoapsis at the same level as the target's periapsis. The target, again, is one of our tugs, but it doesn't have power. We don't have a whole lot of mod propellant left. Okay, and on this side we want to lift up our periapsis to help rendezvous. I don't think we're going to have enough like this, so what we're going to do is just have one of the tugs go. They'll be much more efficient at getting to the right spot, but we need to transfer fuel into it. Since we're running out of fuel here. Okay, so off goes this tug. And go. Well, we need to make sure that we have our target. Oh, that seems like it's okay. Okay, there it is. I'm just gonna grab it on the side and see if we can't... Um, okay, maybe that was a bad idea. <laughs> I, I guess... Oh, there we go. Okay, uh, just sort of recharge it like this. Share our power. And maybe we should have both of them attached to the stage that we're trying to bring back. So first of all, make sure that we hibernate during warp. And we were going for all driller debris right here. I don't know how long it'll take to phase with it. Let's see. Carefully monitoring our power situation while we do this though. Okay, we're gonna meet up with that big stage. Okay, coming around we want to attach to the top of it. Again, there's no parachutes on this stage. We are just putting a controller on. It's got fuel though, so it's possible that we could land it with uh, powered, but but not a guarantee because of comms in particular. Nope, we've attached. Well, we're we're tiny. No, oh, let's not fire anymore. Um, we're tiny little things. I guess it's all right to have this weird assembly on it. Uh, I don't want to take the time to bring one of them back over to the mothership, if you will. Um, the reaction wheel should actually be enough, but let's see about comms and everything. Um, the space center is just right there. As far as, there's two commsats here. This might not be, I mean, if only we were deorbiting right now, it'd be great, but we're actually going to have to go around. Retriever 2 can serve as a relay. Okay, so retrograde. We'll have to use the tiny little reaction wheels. 
And we don't have that much power. Uh, we have to make sure we're controlling from something reasonable. Uh, this... Oh, that's not a docking port. Oh, no. Okay. Control. Reversed. Here. Uh, I should have done this earlier. Yeah, we're too close to the KSC right now. But then again, we could still probably just splash down over here. Even if it's not efficient and everything. Uh, it's going to take a while to turn. We don't have enough electric charge. We need to come down now. Oh right, we we can recharge with the engines though. Not enough though, I don't think. Not if we also want to use them to land. So I think I'm gonna. Man. Bring ourselves down here. I'm gonna try and go steep. We'll end up splashing down over here somewhere. Well, let's just try and get into that tank. Okay, this isn't working very well. Retrograde, hello, retrograde. Oh shoot, maybe the aerodynamics are really bad. Well, that should be good enough. We're coming in pretty decisively. Lots of wobbling. I'm just gonna stop the RCS, I don't think it's helping much. The RCS on those tiny little tugs was not meant for this sort of thing. Well, there's the Eastern Peninsula. Oh, well, that's just Plasma Blackout. Sure hope we get out of Plasma Blackout before we lose electric charge, though. We are not slowing down much. Right over the Eastern Peninsula. This lack of slowing down is troubling. Oh, we lost an engine. Oh. No, oh. Oh. Oh, this doesn't bode well. Oh. Oh, well, now we're lighter. It's not really the center engine. <laughs> so that's a bit of a problem. I don't know if it provides enough thrust, but we should probably start finding out as soon as we get calm. We're not, we're not gonna get comms, are we? Hmm. I don't know where Retriever Two went. It used to be above us. <laughs> Or maybe I mistook that. Oh, it's actually Daffle's Wreckage, not Retrieval 2. We were supposed to be in comms with Daffle's Wreckage, but we are not. Right. Um, so we don't have comms. Well, at least we disposed of it. Poor little probes, though. Poor little tugs, I mean. That one tug that saved the other tug definitely did not deserve this. Well, it's not debris in orbit anyway. So, let's bring down the main bulk of things, which is not called Retriever 2, it's called Daffle's Wreckage. <laughs> uh, well, I guess we'll go to the tracking station to pick up on that.
Okay, well, we have precious little actual fuel here. We're currently right above the KSC. Try a little bit of a better re-entry. But who knows, we're in this weird low orbit. So, whereas the other one overshot, we'll probably undershoot. Okay, well, that'll do. Maybe 30. Okay, inflate heat shield. Okay, so those are armed in theory. We don't need the solar panels out. And it's all up to aerodynamics and the parachutes. We'll keep one antenna out and just let it break. Okay, well, here goes nothing. The culmination of all our debris retrieval efforts. Maybe we will overshoot after all. It is our intention to splash down. This isn't really well balanced for... You know, it's not really well balanced for coming down in the water or on land, but anyway. Hopefully the parachutes will be gentle with it. Yep, yep, way overshoot. Well, we're deviating a bit. Oh, it's it's deviating a lot now. But we're pretty slow. All things considered. Oh, we've lost comms. Okay, we have pre-deployment fairly early. What a precarious structure. <laughs> okay, full parachute deployment brings us to 5.6 meters per second, about what I wanted. We have no comms, we're just waiting for it to come down. Okay, and splash down. Uh, recover before it tips. All right. But all right, 13.5 science. Uh, 53,602 funds recovered from parts. So what was the cost of this venture? Maybe we didn't break even, let's see. Yeah, the cost was 72,000, but if we had landed closer to the KSC, or if that other stage had come back intact instead of smashing into the surface of the water, it would have been good, but didn't quite make it. A little bit more fuel margin on this so that we could load up the second tier here. We only had stuff on the first tier, would have uh, helped out, but anyway. That was the adventure of Retriever 2, and we are not going to be doing retrieval of debris next time. We will do something else. So, uh, tune in for that. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.